truck now and it is extremely hot out here um, whew, I had to stack all that or uh, put all that hay in rows our hay trailer will haul eight bales at a time so I put it in eight bale rows all throughout the property so that I can just bring the truck and trailer out here and have the tractor sitting there and just load eight and move on load eight and move on so anyway uh, this was a lot easier way of getting a count on actually how much hay there actually was and um, so I'm just going to go around here and show you what we got okay in the in that little field that you saw at the end of the hay cutting video that they were uh, cutting a little square field there are I have put eight bales in here but there was it actually made seven I brought one from outside to make an eight bale row right there so there's eight all right and go on across here and this little field right here it made a lot because there was no second cutting on it last year so it was the old stuff and the new stuff all together and uh it actually made more hay it's two acres and it made seven bales so you go into the next field which is the big hay field one of the big hay fields and right here we made a tiny one and then a about a half a bale and then there's a Let's see how many we got there one two three four five six seven and then a half a bale and then a tiny bale so we're going to consider that half a bale and a tiny bale one bale so eight bales right there all right so that's 16. then we move across here and these hay fields are rough i know they look smooth as glass from the air but hay fields are always rough so, so we had 16, here's another eight bale row. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that makes 24. So we got 24 bales so far. All right, so we got those 24. Then we go across here. And here is another row of hay eight bales there so that makes 32 all right so we got 32 bales which is pretty sad for the amount of area that we we actually bailed we bailed a, a pretty huge area you saw from the air i mean i think i think all of the hay baling area is about 60 acres of open ground so you know we're not doing good so far on the on the amount of hay so we got 32 bales so far now I'm gonna take a shortcut and cut up through here just kind of a little shortcut to another field neighbor area all right cut around behind here pretty narrow little spot right here all right remember we had 32 bales all right 32 bales all right there's eight over there that's 40 There's, that makes 40 right there. There are eight bales straight ahead of me. So that makes 48 with this eight here. And then we got we'll get right over here and we have another eight right there. So 
all in all, we have 56 bells. 56 bells. We fed about 75 bells last year. So, and my brother needs at least 30. So we're gonna have to at least make 100 and 510 bales uh, in order to kind of break even this year. So the good news is it, well, bad news. Bad news, it's 100 today. The good news is it's supposed to start cooling off today and there are chances of rain coming. Several chances of rain over the next two weeks. Uh, they're not great chances, but they are chances. So if we get some rain, there's a possibility we can get that second cutting that we need. But right now we are in a deficit on hay. folks that is when the microphone decided to die so what we have here is we have a 32 10 10 uh, ratio of fertilizer it is nitrogen phosphorus and potassium 32 nitrogen so it's a nitrogen rich and what they do is they take a skid steer and they load this hopper with the uh, amount that we wanted it goes from the hopper into a tumbler and what that does is just like mixing concrete. It goes into that, um, into that uh, shot in there by the conveyor, and it is mixed up well inside of that, uh, inside of that uh, little tumbler there. So then, after it is mixed well in the tumbler, it goes onto that conveyor belt that's right there below it, and that conveyor belt it runs up and it loads itself right into the uh, trailer that I'm pulling the uh, fertilizer trailer. So this is purchased four tons of this and uh, the uh, and I and I hate it because he he wanted to know what I was doing what I was filming I believe his name is either I think it's Jason or Jaden um, he was helping me out with uh, with putting the fertilizer in there and uh, he was doing a he was doing a bang up job, and uh, I really appreciate his help uh, getting me lined up, getting the the trailer lined up, and uh, so I could get on it real good and uh, and smoothing out the fertilizer so it wasn't you know flying out whenever I was going down the road. So yep, I appreciated their help down at the co-op. So anyway, uh, the fertilizer cost was. A little bit north of twenty five hundred dollars, so <laughs> Okay, this is more area where the uh, audio was broken. So what I'm showing is how to work the fertilizer trailer. So what you do is you pull this pin right here that holds a lever. Once you get the pin out, you're able to move the lever to the side. And what you're trying to do is you slide it up past this plate right here, and then you lock it in. 
Once you do that, that rod runs this little wheel with fins on it, which pushes down into that tire, which engages that. And then you'll see right here, there's some belts that run the actual conveyor system and the, uh, and the actual spinners that, that throw the fertilizer. This is a gauge that shows, uh, actually a chart that shows if you want to flow a certain amount of fertilizer, then you have a gate opening rate that you use. So we're going to do uh, 200 pounds per acre, and it's going to be like a two and a half inch uh, gate opening. And, and I run the truck at about oh, five to seven miles an hour to get the uh, required 200 pounds of fertilizer. So what I'm doing right here is I'm actually opening that gate up to the two and a half inch mark to allow the fertilizer to flow. And that you can see the fertilizer is sitting actually on a conveyor and it brings it back and runs it onto these uh, actual spinner wheels that are that, that I failed to get video of right then that are below that.
folks i've got all the fertilizer spread i got it spread all over the property here where the cattle are where uh where the uh hay is you can see the nitrogen on the ground here so what we're attempting to do now is wait wait out the rain when the rain comes then this will just uh just take off but in the meantime uh, i saw something whenever i was driving around here and i need to find it if i can um uh, i didn't i didn't think it was going to be this quick but i believe we've got a new baby calf so let me find that if i can I'm looking. Oh, there she is. Found her. Right here. With her new baby. This is 23 cow. She is Minnie's mama. And that is Danny's first baby. And look at them ears. <laughs> and this baby appears to have just been born. But it's up. And it's moving around well. And she looks like she's got a bag. Uh oh, don't fall down. I wonder if this is a little bull or a heifer. Well, look at those ears. You can sure tell Danny's your daddy. Uh, we got a little heifer. Little heifer. So, that's a keeper. Alright. Just gonna kind of leave them alone for a minute. I need some help with this. I need to get a I need to get an ear tag in that calf, but let me see if I can. Maybe my brother's home and he can come give me a hand. I don't know. We will see. I'm going to leave them alone for a minute. Anyway, we got a new baby on Gillen Farms. All right, the next cow's getting ready to have a calf is right here. This is, uh, this is Oreo, and she has got her bag going real well. And she should be having a calf just any day. So, Oreo is next in line, followed by two or three of the other cattle. So, uh, yeah, Oreo is coming. She'll be next. So, that'll be the next calf. That update should be just any day. All right, what a day. What a day. We got the fertilizing all done on uh, both properties on the... Uh, on the hay field and out here at uh, where the cattle are. Uh, we have a, we had a complete surprise when we got here whenever I uh, found that we, uh, number 20, or number 23 cow had had a nice little heifer calf out of Danny. This is our first calf from Danny. And you know, you always wonder if that bull that you bought is gonna be a good bull. You know, we bought that bull, we didn't test him ourselves. But what the fella told us, he tested him, he come out good, and he showed me pictures of all of his calves, and he had a lot of nice calves. And you can definitely tell this is Danny's baby. I mean, he's got that e those ears. So, uh, but anyway, we, so now we've got the, a new calf. We got everything all fertilized up. Uh, I guess the next thing I gotta do is I gotta come out here and do some brush hogging. I need to ear tag this calf. It's a little bit, uh, I've got to get that, that buggy back to the co-op because I've got it rented and uh, I've got to get it back before they close. So I'm going to run it back and I need to brush hog here. I uh, noticed that uh, the briars down on the, on the other side of the pond are really taking over. So I need to come down and brush hog and I need to see if I can get an ear tag in that calf. So that'll probably be the next time. So anyway, everybody's happy, happy, happy. And we got a new baby. So, 
If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. And uh, we'll continue to bring more content in the future. And as always, everybody, God bless.